What's up, y'all? Got a banger from the modern king. Let's get straight into it. We used to marry till death do us part. Today mm. we marry till love dies. Ooh. So social media caused me to get a divorce. So earlier this year, I ended a relationship. In bro, bro, bro. What are these bangs? <laughs> what? What is that? <laughs> Looking like Tomater from Cars. Shots fired! Shots fired! Like, what is that? Cut off an engagement from a great, a great man. Men are done with the games and Crazy. are no longer getting married. The society we're creating right now, more and more men don't want to get married. And I get why. There is almost Perfect. zero upside for men getting married. Mm -hmm. This isn't me saying that men shouldn't get married or women, but think about what society is telling men about what being a man is. Tell about society is men hardcore for getting married. If you get married and you get divorced, woman takes 50% of whatever you have. 80% of relationships, the man is the biggest provider. So that's a big right off the bat. What are you getting in exchange for that? Second, if you have kids with her, you're because the government doesn't think that you deserve sh So even good dads who try to stay in the kid's life are f So there's a lot of men going, uh, why the f would I do this? The good news is, is that will correct itself because eventually then people start going, oh, <laughs> Right? When you create mistakes, you only create more error. Error creates more error. So we've gone so far the other direction that more and more men are going, like, why the f would I get married? No, 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 no. Our I mean, facts though. We've gotten to a point in society now where men have no incentive to want to marry you, ladies. Because, like, to the first two points of the first two chicks, you're just going to get on social media, compare it the thief of joy. You're going to compare your life to other people's highlight reels and say, I might as well get divorced because my man's not good. He doesn't have a billion gajillion dollars. And even if he had a million bajillion for billion dollars, like Ludacris said back in the 2000s. <laughs> if you guys know that song, you know. <laughs> Even if he had that money, y'all probably still leave him because you just want half of his stuff. 70% of divorces are initiated by women. 80% of those divorces are initiated by women with college degrees. And if you have a master's or more, you're, it's 90% chance that you're going to get divorced, bro. There's no way. Men are going their own way and ladies are feeling this in full effect. Generation is cooked. There's no way. Kaka's ex-wife has just come out saying why she actually divorced Kaka, who she was married to for 10 years, saying, Kaka never betrayed me. He treated me well. He gave me a wonderful family, but I was not happy. Something was missing. The problem was Brutal. he was too perfect for me. You're telling me that this woman married her childhood sweetheart and divorced him after 10 years, even after two children. Because these women still at the end of the day, they want to get their back blown out by Chad and Tyrone. Shots fired! Shots fired! You could be the nicest guy ever, but they want to be treated like trash. Like, he was a perfect guy, right? You left the perfect guy because you're going to get something better. No, because you want to get treated worse. Make it make sense, dude. <laughs> to end up going with a bad boy. So she was married to a Champions League winner, World Cup winner, and Ballon d'Or winner, and yet she still divorced him. Dude, Kaka was goaded though. Not to mention that this guy's one of the most handsome men in football. I'm not gay, but this guy is majestic, let's be real. Lads, if this guy ended up being single and got divorced for being too perfect, our chances are not even slim. There's no hope for We're us. We're cooked. This generation's cooked, fam. I actually can't believe that. Think about this. The divorce rates, approximately 50%. And 70 to 80% of divorces are initiated by women. So Perfect. who really tends to give up the most by the numbers? It's... How dare you? It's women. <laughs> the reason they are so quick to give How up... How dare you? <laughs> That's a good soundbite. ...is because they're generously rewarded for doing so. Yep. If divorce wasn't so incentivized, women wouldn't be so willing to divorce their husbands. Yeah, if like... If when you got married to a man, you knew if you divorced him, you would get nothing, women would stay with these men. The government has subsidized being a divorcee. We've also subsidized being a single mother, right? Women are incentivized now to leave the man. They'd rather marry the government than marry a man. They'd rather go out and be on government assistance. I did an episode a few days ago where this chick was talking about, I could have one baby daddy with six kids and only get this amount of money, or I could have six kids with six baby daddies and get this amount of money. Like, these women are really out here doing the mental gymnastics to try to, get, try to finesse these men. She's like, oh, if I have more baby daddies, I make more money. Bro, What? Is this for real the logic you ladies are moving around with? Bro, this is wild to me.
So until the government stops rewarding women for breaking their vows, men will continue to walk away. Mm -hmm. I started to go out a lot more with my girlfriends, more than ever. Mm. Um, I started getting a lot of attention, a lot more attention from men and I didn't know how to handle it. Mm. Oh, uh, You're telling me she lost 100 pounds? Damn, that was a big ass woman. Cause she already looked big. She looked like a big back baby to me. I'm gonna keep the buck. I had a guy at work and we started to become friends. This is where, this is where like Lizzo, you know what I'm saying? Lizzo, her big back ass. South Park just cooked her. Y'all gotta go watch that bro. South Park cooked her. It's so good. It's like it's like a play on the Olympic stuff. They absolutely cooked her. But now these big women think that they're high demand. Y'all sexual marketplace value is lower than ever, but y'all really think y'all out here cooking. Y'all really out here think you you really think men are out on the market. Where are the big backed women at? We're not saying that. Not looking for y'all. But y'all got these big egos now because Lizzo and all these uh, all this this fat pride and all this it's okay to be big. No, it's not. You're going to have PCOS. You're going to have type 2 diabetes. Like, nothing cool about that. He was very flirtatious. Gave me a lot of attention. I had just had a baby. I was about a year postpartum. Oh, God. And I was feeling... I mean, the weight was gone, but I was still feeling bad. I was feeling bored and frumpy. Yeah. And I just wanted some excitement. I wanted and some excitement. I wanted somebody to blow my back out. That's what, that's what we hear, ladies, when y'all say that. And he and I became friends, and it was innocent at first. And then it gradually started to progress into something a little more inappropriate each day. Please just... Good Lord. Each day. No shame about it. Talking about it in an interview. Good Lord. And, this, and her husband's out here saying, that's my, that's my baby. That's my girl. She had my baby. I love her. Goodness gracious. Ask me what you just asked me. She's 20, and she asked me, how old are you? I said, I'm this. And she said, where's your ring? Where's hey, facts. But that, we need this level of accountability in the female side of society because us men i'm a men's i'm a men's activist because you ladies feel so comfortable dogging us men i'm gonna stand up for us because there's a lot of really good men out there that don't even get the time of day so now we're going our own way so now you don't get the time of day how does it feel a taste of your own medicine eat it all up because that's what we're giving you so once you get to a certain age you younger women great job kudos to that younger girl if you're in your 30s and you ain't got a ring Where's your damn ring at? Where is it? Donde esta el ringo? I don't know if that's how you say ring, <laughs> but you guys get the gist. But women have to start shaming other women for this. Us men shaming them, they don't care. They're like, oh, he ain't shit. He ain't nothing. It don't matter. But if women start shaming other women, things will change. It'll come full circle and women will go, you know what? You're right. Where is my ring? All these girls right now are just doing city girl summer, just getting ran through like a set of stairs. And they think it's cool. And they're preaching to their other girls like, hey, girl, go out there. Go have fun. Go get ran through. You'll find a good man in your 30s. Wrong. Eh, you're not going to find a good man in your 30s. It's a wrap for you once you get to that point. Ring! Where's my ring? ring? I got my class ring. That's not it, baby. <laughs> Embarrassed. Still, still pre-gaming, still going to the clubs. You know what I mean? It's like, you ladies need to grow up. Grow up. That's what children do. That's what I was doing in college. Fully convicted, how long would you wait for him? Six months, max. Damn. And we've been together 15 years. How long would you wait for her? Forever. Five. Don't lie. Five. Five what? Months. Good, dude. You should get back on Hinge immediately. <laughs> well, this is why this is why you don't get with women that are way above you. Like your girl has to like you more than you like her, bro. This is why I always say, like, I didn't agree with this from Myron from Fresh and Fit. But now I do because women are hypergamous in nature. Like two or three years ago, I was like, nah, man, it's okay if you like your girl more. Nah, -uh, no. Your girl needs to like you more than you like her because the thing is she needs to feel like she's shooting up. Because if she doesn't feel like she's shooting up, she's going to leave you. And I promise you right now, this girl thinks she's all that in a bag of potato chips. And the guy that she's with looks like a regular schmegular dude. Good on him for bagging a girl that's, that's aesthetically pleasing. She's pretty cute, right? But at the same time, she would leave him so fast. He went to prison. She's dipping. She's dipping like dipping dots at Six Flags. She's outie, bruh. But he would probably ride for her. It's, it's, 
It's truly sad, bro. This is why I say you got to ask your girl, if you got a girl, ask her, hey, if I went blind tomorrow, would you stay with me? If she doesn't say yes within a millisecond, she belongs to the streets. She belongs to the streets. How long would you wait for him? I wouldn't. No, fuck your husband? That. No, fuck that. Even if he's wrongfully convicted? How would I know if it's wrongful? I could I could prove it. A year, minimum. A year, Max, and you got to get back to Hinge? I'd wait. How long? How long are we talking? <laughs> 10 years, 15 years. I'd wait. It'll be 10 years. She would but it's all right. Yeah, <laughs> one week. Yeah, one that's, week. Uh, that's hard to have a dude already ready to go. That's him. The best man, bro. Right? You see, us men, we realize this, and we've come, we've come to this realization that we are expendable, and you ladies really will be out here if something bad happens and we're not providing and we're not giving you what you want. You're out. You're out. There's no... Ride or die women. They, they stopped making ride or die women after, like, the 40s. Y'all, y'all, the, the, the rider dies have been dead and gone for decades. What, what, what do you guys think? When do you think was the last generation of ride or die women? Personally, I think it was like our grandparents' generation because the boomers, bro, y'all, y'all got crazy divorced, crazy divorced. Like almost every boomer I know has been like, I'm on my third divorce. I'm on my second divorce. Like, but it's not from the guys. It's mostly from the women, but the women were not, they're not ride or die anymore. Our grandparents' generation, grandmas were ride or die. Like my grandparents were married for 65 years. You know what I mean? I know a lot of people, their grandparents are still together to this day because they rode together and they got old together. But you ladies nowadays, nah, ain't no ride or dies. Exactly. At all, every time. All time, every time. If your man was wrongfully convicted, how long would you wait for him? Not even a day. Wrongfully. What okay, else? if your husband was wrongfully convicted, how long would you the wait? The umbrellas is all I need to see. Oh, you probably well. did it. A year. For your husband? Yeah. So social media caused wow. me to get a divorce. Like, that's dumb. That's a mistake. Let me explain. This is about to be one of those videos wow. where I'm like, why is this on the internet? But continue. My own feelings of uncertainty and unhappiness for a while. I was actually, I hate telling people this, but like, I had thoughts on my wedding day and I thought that was just super normal. And I was in the haze of being a new mom. Um, I... We got pregnant she very early in our relationship. This is yet another Stupid. perfect example of how women fall in love with the process of being in love rather than the actual person that they're marrying. And once the excitement of the wedding and having a baby and all of those things die out and reality smacks them in the face, they wake up and realize, oh, I think I made the wrong decision. And in this case, a lot of these women already know on their wedding day or before they even have children that they don't want to be with these people in the first place. That's which crazy. I think is very, very selfish. We got pregnant very early in our relationship on purpose, which again, another story for another day, but stupid. You know, being a new mom, I had two kids, two young kids, and I was just in survival mode. So I really didn't have a lot of time to think about me or what I wanted or what I was feeling. It's always me, 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 I, 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 my, my, my. Honey, you have kids. It's time to grow up and be an adult. You're not a child anymore. You're not just like, well, I wanted to do this and me, and I just wasn't feeling fulfilled, and I and this. And you have children now. It's time to grow up and be an adult and take care of your children and be a wife to your husband. You have a duty. Marriage is duty. Marriage is work. It's not just like, oh, I just want to have fun, and I just want to go out there, and I want to be excited. Those days are over, honey. It's time to step up. I was just in kind of like autopilot and I think that's probably why if you go back on my page you'll see any videos of me talking about my husband where like I make us out to be like the happiest couple ever which we're not unhappy there is actually not a lot of tea here there's not a lot of like jealousy or animosity or a big story or anything that was wrong it just also wasn't right. But then she goes on a two minute rant about how she got into therapy and her therapist is telling her that she's just a people pleaser and this is why she's made such poor decisions to begin with. Ooh. So it strips her of any real accountability. She even says that she got on the internet and realized that other women felt the same way that she did and that's why she felt it was relatable and how she was feeling as well. Misery and loves company, dude. I'm telling you, social media will influence these women in a direction that they don't want to be in because now she's a single mother of two kids. I never got the point of- Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hit it. You're a single mother, you said I would ask you if it's here or not. You're a single mother, you said I would ask you if it's here or not. Congrats, honey. <laughs> You're a single mother. It doesn't get easier.
<laughs> it doesn't get easier. It actually gets a lot harder. Pun intended. Happy wife, happy life. Mm -mm. Happy growing... man, happy land, boys. Happy man, happy land. Fuck that all, that happy wife, happy life. Psh, nah. Up and it conditions you to think as long as a woman is happy, all will be well. And then you grow up in a that's generation. That's an oxymoron. A woman that's happy? Can't make a woman happy, bro. Come on. Where women strive to do exactly that, make sure that they are happy above all else, including above their partner. To live by happy wife, happy life is selfish. To live by happy spouse, happy how is love. And now it confuses me to think why a woman would put her happiness above anybody else when she asks for a leader, a provider, a protector, all in one to be loyal and to serve according to her emotions and necessities. It seems like a big responsibility to take on a wife. Oh, yeah. It almost sounds like a child. To be taken care of, to be paid attention to, to be coddled and loved and never wanting to seem like she's giving too much because then who are you to tell her anything? To have enough experience to please her in the bed, but now you have to compete with all the men that have already left their mark in her and it's not just one and it's not just two and it's not just three. And it doesn't stop there, you have to look her type, act her type, and most of the time she wants a little bit of hood and a little bit of holy. But if you act too holy, you're seen as weak, and if you act too hood, it comes across as you're too aggressive she wants a man that will spoil her and treat her like a princess to be called queen but have no class when the words out her mouth are disrespectful as soon as it doesn't go her way but you must be patient this woman is preaching. you must be graceful with her and the irony of all that i say about this is that she wants to come as she is it sounds like she's looking for the love of god in men if you enjoyed this um was she reading that because that was good I'm going to keep it a buck. She she kind of crushed that. I had a couple things I wanted to share with you guys. So, uh, Peter Vaksovsky, shout out to you, man. You've commented this a couple times, and I think this, I don't even know if you call it a quote or a stanza, but I'm going to read this to you guys because it was so good. So, it's it goes like this. If she can't be corrected, she can't be directed. If she can't be directed, she can't be protected. If she can't be protected, she can't be respected. And if she can't be respected... She can't be selected. Boy, mic drop. That is so good. That is so good, bro. I love that. I absolutely love that. Because all that's true, man. You can't correct a woman. She can't be directed. You can't point her in the right direction, right? She can't be directed. You can't protect her, right? Hey, you need to be able to listen to me. You need to have full faith in what I'm saying. Because if you don't, you're going to go out in this world and the world is crazy. If I say, hey, don't walk down the street. And you're like, oh, I'm going to walk down the street. And you get mugged. Your fault, not mine, right? If she can't be protected, she can't be respected. If I can't protect you, I can't respect you. You're not going to listen to me, and then you're not going to get selected at the end. So, beautiful quote. Shout out to Peter Vaksovsky, 9211, bro. Cash on that. Cash on that. So, I know yesterday's episode, I had mentioned what a king is, what a queen is. I wrote them down this time, so I don't look like an idiot. King, keen, impervious, keen, impervious, noble, groomed. Uh, queen, quaint, uplifting, elegant, empathetic, and natural. So, a lot of you guys in the comments were saying nurturing, which I do agree with that. I kind of relate nurturing to uplifting and empathetic. Empathetic is understanding other people's emotions, what they're going through and being able to relate. And uplifting is being motivation, motivational, uplifting, like very positive, helping you build confidence in yourself, making you feel good about yourself. So natural is in like, we want natural bodies. I don't know a lot of men going out there saying, I want lip fillers. I want Botox in the forehead. I want a boob job. I want a, a tummy tuck. I want a BBL. We, we don't want all of that. We like natural bodies, natural hair. It's really that simple. Why is it so, why is it such a hard concept for women to understand that we just want their natural bodies? Like y'all are doing that for you. All the BBLs, the boob jobs, the lip fillers, the Botox, y'all are doing that for each other because you understand that your vanity is a direct correlation to your sexual marketplace value. Therefore, you're trying to do the most with your vanity and your aesthetic so you rank higher in the marketplace. So for women to get mad at men and then say, well, all you care about is the way, way I look. You guys know it and you compete against each other, you idiot. What are you talking about? Stupid. <laughs> You're competing against each other to look good because you know we like it. Like, like the, just the absolute hypocrisy blows me away. Like, you, you ladies know. That's why y'all are out there doing the most. Ladies these days would rather go under the knife and go, go into surgery than go to the gym. Think about that. You know what, you know what they would do back in the day? They'd put the freaking fork down. Put the fork down and they would lose weight. Walk a little bit. You would lose weight. Eat better, you'd lose you you lose weight, right? Nowadays they're like, nah, I'll just go get lipo. I'll go to get a get a 
gastric sleeve. I'll get a BBL. I got a boob job instead of going to the gym. Like we have lost our way as a culture, but it's our, it's, it's now is our time men. we have to keep going our own, our own way. We have to keep standing our ground because hopefully in the next generation or so, this stuff will come full circle and women will, will realize what their true nature is, become more fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive, and have no children outside of us and be quaint, uplifting, elegant, empathetic, and natural. We can only hope. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. We hit 18K subs. We are halfway to 19K. Um, become a member if you really enjoy the content. Um, I really would appreciate that. I think we got a few members. I want to build the member community. I really do appreciate you guys. And then join the Discord if you can for offline chats and maybe give me some suggestions of videos to react to. I would love that. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.